All right, welcome back to the show. Today we're making country style ham. We're gonna show you how to get this cured up, smoked up, and cooked up. Stick around, don't go anywhere. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up our brine to cure this ham. So over here, I have a gallon of water. This recipe calls for two gallons of water. So we're just starting off with a gallon. Two cups kosher salt, one cup of sugar, one cup of granulated garlic powder. Right here we have curing salt, so you're going to need four tablespoons of that. Molasses, probably about eight ounces of this. It's not going to be exact. In this bowl, I have dry peppercorns, coriander seeds, red dried chili peppers, cardamom, and cloves. Into the bowl, the spices go. And we're going to start to add our ingredients. Just like that. Just add them all in at once. What I like to do is just give them a quick stir, since they're all dry, to stir them around. And then we're going to add our water. Now we're starting this off with just about a half a gallon of water. And we're going to make a concentrate. So that's about a half a gallon of water. We're gonna make a concentrate. We're gonna heat this up on the stove. Then we're gonna add a gallon and a half more. Let this cool down, and the ham goes inside. And that's it, so let's get this onto the stove. Our brine has cooled down, and it's time to get it inside our briner. So, I used a half a gallon of water to make this brine. I used, I got a half a gallon of water inside this brine bucket. And what I'm going to do is dump the rest of this right into our brine bucket. What we'll do now, I don't want to waste any of the seasonings in here. I got another gallon of water. I'm just going to clean out the pot and any settlement in the bottom of the pot will go in there. And now we're going to start adding more water to equal two gallons. Just so it doesn't splash. Alright, so now that we got the two gallons in there, Let's give that a stir. Just to stir it up. Now this is cool water. You don't want to put this into hot water. Make sure you have plenty of room in your fridge because this is going away for seven days. We're not going to see this ham. And then we just drop our ham right down in there. And now that our ham is submerged in there, it's not gonna float back up. We're just gonna lock it into place. And now it's locked in. All right, so we're gonna get our lid on and into the fridge for seven days this goes and we'll show you what to do from there stick around don't go anywhere this is the first grill we're going to smoke on today this is a cold smoker we're not going to add any heat it's the same type of uh, process where you process bacon so it's called a cold smoke unit 
I put all my bacon in here. I have hangers in the back, hangers on top. And if I want to cold smoke my sausage and just hit it with cold smoke, it gives the same effect as a cured bacon. So this is what this ham is. It's a cured ham. And now it has zero flavor, so we have to add our flavor. So basically, we're going to smoke it with wood today. This is the cold smoke unit on the side. And when we put this on, we'll show you how much smoke it pumps out from the bottom. And that's what we're rolling with today. So it's time to put our ham on. So let's get our ham out of here. Got a search for them. Go all the way down the bottom. Here we go. Lot of smoke. On to the cooker we go. And there we go. Let's get that light in there so you can see that. And that's our cold smoke coming up. And we'll see you right back out here. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. This is the Even Embers Pellet Grill Cooker. I am not going to break this grill down for you because I have a full breakdown of this grill in my 45 minute pellet grill ribs. I'm going to leave a link in the description for you and it's going to show you the entire breakdown of this grill and that's what we're rolling with today. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. We're three hours in. So let's check on this ham and see how she's doing. She's smoking pretty good. This is the same process of how you do bacon. So, same exact way. That's all cold smoke coming out of there. There's no heat. It's about 73 degrees. So whatever it is outside is what that ham's going at right there. So I'm gonna let this go for about another three hours and then onto the cooker it goes. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. So we're smoking now, cold smoking for six hours and it's time to come off. Now we're gonna get it out of this cooker and onto our pellet cooker it goes. So our ham is ready and we're going on the cooker with it. We're cooking this at 350 and it's probably gonna take about three and a half hours to cook this piece of meat. Now I put some slices in here because when this is cooked, it's all gonna just separate to the top nicely and look like a really nice country ham. So that's what we got going on. Stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, so our ham has reached an eternal temperature right now at about 153. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna baste this, put a little chicken stock right on the bottom of the pan. And a little splash over it. Follow by some just cloves. Now, I grind down my own cloves and I just refill these bottles back up, which is a good way to go. So I'm just going to put some cloves in here, just a little bit. Followed by honey. So we're going to start getting our honey on here. And this is the first batch of honey going on it. I'm not sure how much honey I'm going to use, so I don't want to dirty up my honey. So I'm just sprinkling over the top. Like this. Just let it run down in there. Mm. 
Now, our ham's getting a bit dark. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it. Just like this. It's hot, so be careful. Wear some gloves. I've been doing this for a little bit, so my hands can take some heat. I leave a little air pocket in there. I don't want to completely wrap it, so just leave a little air pocket in there when you do it, and that's it. And we're gonna sh shut her back down, and now we're gonna raise the heat up to 375. So, let's go up. We're at 375. And it's climbing. And that's what we're looking for. Let it get up to 375, and uh, we'll kinda check it and just feel it out from there. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, and this roast is done. So we're gonna pull it, it's at 180. We're gonna take it inside, let it rest, but she's, she's done. See you inside. All right, it's that time and we're on the chopping block. Let's see what we got. Look at that, that is beautiful. So I'm gonna give this a quick spin around just to show you this. Now we pull this at 180 degrees and it's got a nice gravy inside here of honey and juices from the ham. So if I tilt that over you can see that. And this is why I'm not gonna pull it from this pan because I'm not gonna slice the entire roast up or the entire ham up. So we're just gonna get into it. Now, I'm gonna turn this back around again this way. Look at that pulling from the bone. When you see it pulling from the bone, that's what you want. You don't want pulled pork. We're gonna slice this. And you wanna get most of the meat off the bone because you don't want your hard work to go to waste. So let's start slicing into this. And what I do is I just start slicing just a little piece off the side, like this, just to show you that. It's very, very done because it's pulled at 180 degrees. But look how that slices. Just like butter. And we're gonna get a little pitmaster taste in here. And look at the color of that. Because it's cured. It looks just like a country ham. But just a whole lot better. Let's get a taste. Wow. Amazing. Let's get that off to the side for you guys. Just gonna dip this in some of the honey glaze that's in there. This is Pitmaster privileges right here. That is amazing. All right, we're gonna get this plated. We'll see you right back here. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, and there you have it. Cured country ham with pineapple and honey glaze. If you like this video and many more that are about to come, 
please hit that like button and please subscribe. And also, don't forget to hit that little bell. That's where you get the videos first. Thank you again. Loved having you. And uh, got to get a little skin pit master test this time. That's the skin. Mm-hmm.